In the part one video, we placed an iron condor option trade in NVIDIA just prior to the close and just prior to the earnings announcement. NVIDIA has been known to have some huge price swings following earnings. So let's see if we've made big profits right away or if we still have some adjustments that need to be made going forward in order to be profitable. In this video, we're gonna review the NVIDIA iron condor option trade that we placed just prior to earnings. We're gonna talk about what NVIDIA did for earnings, what they reported, and what did the stock price do. And we will discuss how we should adjust or close the trade on the option trading platform. And finally, how we can lock in profits if it goes our way and still let the trade run until max profit. Hey guys, Darren here. We've got a great video for you here today. But before we get started, if you appreciate the effort and the work that goes into making these videos, all I ask is that you please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, so thank you very much. I think it's really important that we understand how the rich are getting richer. We wanna understand the strategies and tools that they're using so that we can use those same strategies and tools to profit in any market and do it safely. Be sure to download the free options workshop in the link below. It talks about the two main benefits of trading options over buying stocks. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial planner and I'm not recommending trades. Please do your own research and if you're new or learning options, I recommend you start small. Guys, in the part one video, we talked about why people like to trade options around earnings events. And it's pretty simple. You can make money very quickly and at the same time, you can do it pretty safely as long as you utilize the right strategies. We are going to quickly review the NVIDIA Iron Condor option trade that we just placed prior to earnings. Let's take a quick look at the Iron Condor that we sold on the Tasty Trade option trading platform. Use the link below and you can get cash back when you open an account. It's one of the best and most intuitive for trading options. We sold the 455, 465 put credit spread and the 530, 540 call credit spread to make the Iron Condor option trade. Now you can see here we collected $3.65 for selling this Iron Condor. As you know, one option contract controls 100 shares of stock, so this is really $365 that we collected up front when we placed the trade. We sold it yesterday with three DTE, days to expiration, and just prior to the close so that we could center our strikes. The earnings announcement was right after the close. So now it's the next day, Wednesday morning, just prior to the open. So let's see what NVIDIA reported after the bell yesterday. As you can see, NVIDIA had record revenue and earnings with a 206% year over year increase. And they anticipate continued strong margins going forward. So you would think the stock price would just skyrocket up, right? Well, if we look at NVIDIA's one-year chart, we see that it has pretty much moved straight up over the last year. So even though we had good earnings, how much higher can it go? Let's see. We are just a couple of hours prior to the open and we are looking to be about 1% higher or up just $5 to the 504, 505 range. So this is well within our profit range. Because the stock price was so high already, it looks like even though earnings were great, the stock price will only move up a little further. So how should we adjust or close this trade on the option trading platform? IV should drop and we should have a home run winning trade with just two days to expiration left. We should be able to close and keep most of the $365 that we collected when we placed the trade. If I can do that and close for just 10 or $15 debit, then I'll probably do that and get out this morning. If, however, it's much more than that, I may just wait and let it expire worthless in a couple of days. All right, guys, so the market just uh, opened and it's Wednesday. Earnings was last night in NVIDIA and we can see that the stock price is 496. So it did not move, it's down $3. It didn't move at all. Uh, so that is great for us. You can see we're, we're up $310 out of that 365 that we put on. So uh, there's $55, uh, $55 left to make. So if we uh, actually, let's take a look uh, at the curve mode. 
and you can see we are still right in the middle of that range here's where the stock price is almost dead center so we're in good shape uh, you can see the 365 that we put on we're up 306 307 so we're right there if we were to close this out right now so let's look at possibly doing that so we're going to left click on the different options <clears throat> and then right click to close and left click on close and it's this is the cost it's 58 dollars for us to close there's uh, one option contract controls 100 shares so uh it's not 58 cents not 60 cents it's 60 dollars to close so if we were to hit review and send right now it would come up and you'd see the 58 dollars we can send order and close but we're not going to do that um we are still actually tomorrow's thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving everybody uh but the market's only open a half day tomorrow and then i suspect friday is going to be a quiet day in the markets as well so with two days remaining i actually want to collect this 60 dollars. if i can collect 60 bucks in two days why not i don't think it's going to move outside that range but i'm going to show you guys something um if we go back um Let's look again. Okay, left click on all of these and then right click and close position. And then we go over here to the order type and we can, this is a net debit and a market order. If we hit it right now, it's gonna sell right around that 66 cents because they're pretty tight markets, 69 to 60, uh, $9 wide markets. This is right in the middle. That's probably where it would get filled right around there. But let's uh instead of uh, net debit let's just go order type and do a stop limit so i know there was uh, some comments and uh, a couple of you wanted to know how to do a stop limit order and let the, the price run so the way that this works is we will put a stop price so right now it's 65 dollars to close so we want to go higher than that so let's go like the if the max we're going to take is uh 80 dollars let's do let's do 85 i actually don't want to sell it i want to let it go so 85 and then right here we're going to go up 20 dollars more um uh so that would be what 105 1.05 and the way that this works so our stop price is 85 if for some reason that 60 cents moves up to 85 so the if the stock price either goes you know further up or further down and is at risk of you know hitting our short strikes on either side uh, then the price to close is going to go up and increase um, as time marches on the price will go down but this will sell it's going to trigger a stop and sell at 85 cents and as long as it's between 85 and a dollar five it will it will go ahead and sell so during the day uh, it's going to be closer to this price but say that uh, we close the day it doesn't sell and then the market opens way up or way down tomorrow and there's a gap up or gap down if it gaps out beyond the dollar five price then it will not sell so that's the limit price so uh it's got to be somewhere between the 85 dollars and the 105 dollars in order for it to trigger the sell if it goes beyond sometimes if it's a huge gap you know and say you know we're down two hundred dollars or it costs two two hundred dollars to to trade it's not going to sell and we don't want it to because sometimes it it will gap real big and then come back so we can cancel the trade at that point it won't sell and then put on a new uh, uh a new close but this is just an example of how you let it run we uh, hit review and send we check the 105 debit we send the order it's not going to sell we go into our activities page and then we see that it's working right now the price is 56 it's not it's only going to hit that sell and close if it if it hits 85 dollars but we're going to let it run and uh i assume that this is going to continue to go down all the way to zero on friday and we will get the full amount uh of the order but that's how you place a stop uh, limit order so if there's any questions on that uh, let me know i actually use this uh feature uh, any of the trade platforms should have it, but uh, this is how you do it on Tasty, uh, Tasty Trade. So, hey, just to be super clear on this, uh, what I am doing, I'm letting this sit. I'm going to collect that $54 over the next two days, Friday. I suspect it's going to go to zero. There's no need to make any adjustments to this. 
Uh, there's no need to close it now. Again, I think we're safe until Friday. And then I'm just going to let it run out and collect that remaining $51 and have a full $365 uh, winner on Friday in just a three-day trade. So uh, that's how you do the earnings options trade. All right, guys. Hey, uh, can't believe what just happened, but uh, wanted to share it with you. I'm always going to be transparent with uh, you guys. And I actually hit the stop and it sold at $92. So I didn't mean for it to do that, but we had a big drop in the uh, stock price and it hit my uh, stop. Really surprising, but we uh, sold at $92 or we closed out at $92 and we collected $365. So we still made $273 on the trade. So we can't be too uh, unhappy with that. But I did suspect that we're going to stay above that $465 short strike level. So if you don't want to really close it, don't put on a stop limit order. But uh, I guess it did what it's supposed to do. But you see now how it works. And uh, we'll see in the next uh, couple of days by Friday. If it does drop below that 465 and if this was a good thing to do or not so all right guys here's some of the key takeaways selling an iron condor outside of the one standard deviation range can be one of the safest earnings option trading strategies we can immediately close winners for a quick profit and roll and recenter losers to the next month to collect additional premium if the trade doesn't go our way initially we can also have a great deal of success selling iron condors after earnings for profitable option trades as well finally we can place a standing closing order to lock in profits and let the trade run all the way to our max profit all right guys if you're a beginner and this sounded a little bit confusing don't worry it did for me as well at first we will continue to cover option trading details tips and tricks in future videos and we will continue to learn and make money together I put a link down below for the free options workshop. Be sure and grab that. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Let me know what you're trading. Leave a comment, ask a question. I answer every one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.